James Sirius Potter had finished his studies at Hogwarts, but instead of embracing the magical world, he chose to immerse himself in the realm of muggles. He attended a public school in New York City, pursuing his passion for art and painting. His magical past remained a closely guarded secret, unknown to anyone in his new life. Once a year, during Christmas, James would journey to visit his family in England, reuniting with his parents, Harry and Ginny, and his cousins Rose and Hugo. Uncle Ron and Aunt Hermione welcomed him with open arms, providing a temporary respite from his mostly solitary existence. While the younger members of the family reveled in magical wonders, James often found solace in observation, choosing not to actively engage in their magical escapades. He maintained a quiet demeanor, fostering only a few friendships. By day, he toiled away as a designer in a humble newspaper agency, enduring the relentless taunts of his boss, Mr. Grumpton. Though the words stung, James remained silent, determined not to dignify the cruelty with a response. One fateful morning, James awoke to a throbbing headache, an intense heat emanating from his forehead. Puzzled, he reached for a thermometer, only to find his temperature registering as normal. The inexplicable sensation persisted, as if a hidden fire blazed beneath his skin. He approached the mirror cautiously, studying his reflection with apprehension. For a fleeting moment, he glimpsed the faint outline of a lightning-shaped mark etched upon his forehead, or perhaps even a scar of some kind. Yet, upon closer inspection, it vanished, leaving no trace. He splashed his face with cold water, hoping it would dispel the strange sensation. But as he dried his face, he couldn't shake off the feeling that something extraordinary was about to unfold. Despite the perplexity gnawing at him, James pressed on with his morning routine. He meticulously straightened his tie and adjusted his spectacles, concealing any traces of the mysterious mark that had momentarily appeared. As he made his way to the door, an unexpected ring echoed through his apartment. Curiosity mingled with caution as James opened the door, only to find an empty street, devoid of any signs of life. Furrowing his brow, he retreated inside, the sense of anticipation hanging heavy in the air. Returning to his room, James discovered a peculiar object resting upon his bed, its familiarity unmistakable. It was a letter, bearing the iconic seal of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. His heart quickened with a mixture of trepidation and curiosity as he unfolded the parchment, eager to uncover the secrets concealed within. Dear Mr. Potter, we hope this letter finds you well. Although many years have passed, Hogwarts has not forgotten the bravery and legacy of the Potter family. It has come to our attention that a chapter in your life, once set aside, may hold deeper secrets and unforeseen consequences. We invite you to embark on a journey back to where your magical story began, to rediscover the path you chose to abandon. A new era is upon us, and dark forces stir once more. The magical world seeks heroes, even in those who have chosen to remain in the shadows. We believe that the mark you witnessed, however brief, carries great significance, linking you to a destiny you have yet to grasp. If you choose to accept this call, a portkey will be sent to you at midnight on the eve of the summer solstice. It will transport you to a place where answers await. We await your response, for the choices we make shape not only our own future, but also the world we leave behind. Yours sincerely. Headmistress Minerva McGonagall
James read and reread the letter, his mind a whirlwind of emotions. Memories of his magical upbringing flooded back, intertwining with the mundane life he had forged in the muggle world. The steady rhythm of his monotonous routine suddenly seemed so comforting, and dark shadows of unknown danger started looming around him. As the day wore on, James found himself lost in thoughts of rediscovering a part of himself he had long left behind. He wasn't sure if he wanted it to come back. He had, after all, left that world for a reason. Was he ready to face it again? He didn't know. Suddenly, the jibes from Mr. Grumpton seemed normal. His boring job at the desk felt reassuring. The empty dampness of his New York apartment felt cozy. His mind was racing. What if it happens again? The secret that he has kept buried deep inside himself emerges for the world to see.